Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the First Battle of Donaldsonville, located in Ascension Parish, Louisiana, on August 9, 1862. As a reward for taking New Orleans in April, Union Flag Officer David G. Farragut had been promoted to Rear Admiral in August. Reflecting on his new command, Farragut had been informed that there had been several artillery attacks on Union naval activity on the Mississippi River. The attacks came from in and around Donaldsonville. Alarmed that Union shipping was being attacked, Rear Admiral Farragut sent a notice to the Confederate-held Donaldsonville explaining that the women and children should be evacuated as he intended to attack that town. On August 9th, he anchored at the time with three ships and fired upon it with all available guns and artillery that those ships could muster. Once the initial bombardment was finished, Farragut sent a landing party to set fire to destroy the hotels, wharf buildings, and dwellings, all belonging to a Confederate captain, Felipe Landry, who had been attacking Union shipping using guerrilla-style tactics, and according to the Union side, not attacking honorably. The result of the naval bombardment was complaints from the citizens of Donaldsonville for the shelling, but the Confederate attacks on naval shipping stopped for the time being. There were no known deaths from this battle on either side. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. <laughs>